Cocaine, alcoholism, adultery, Hollywood, hookers, clean living, professionalism, Christianity, adopting African babies. Ladies and gentlemen, on April 13th at the press conference of UFC 300 post fight, Dana White announced the news that broke the endless content cycle of MMA Joey. Conor McGregor will be fighting Michael Chandler June 29th, International Fight Week. <laughs> How are we going? Today, we're gonna to be talking about the fight that got announced, Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler. Now, there are gonna be plenty of people out there who are gonna break down the kicks and the punches and the boxing style versus the karate stance, the old Conor McGregor, the new Conor McGregor, Michael Chandler, the wrestling, they're gonna break it all down. Dan Hardy is going to do an hour and a half just on this fight. Henry Cejudo is going to have all the bloody stats on the screen behind him. But we've seen this countless times, countless times. All the pre-fight talk, all the years of coaching that you've had, Henry Cejudo and Dan Hardy, all the, all the technique and training that you yourselves have done, all the in-cage time that you've actually experienced, being a world champion, all of those things mean absolutely nothing when the fight starts. Israel Adesanya is not the most dominant striker in MMA of all time. Sean Strickland is. Luke Rockhold is not an amazing stand-up striker. My, Michael Bisping can just out-chad him. Dominic Cruz is not the fastest hands in the UFC. Cody Garbrandt can go in there and just do crossfit in between combinations. Yo, Romero isn't the scariest guy in the cage. He just stands there loading up a single shot and he'll give you plenty of warning before he goes ahead and actually fires that one across the bows. We've seen it week in and week out. MMA, you close the cage door and anything can happen, mate. <sighs> so what makes this fight, hmm? How do you call this fight? How do you predict this fight? Well, I'll tell you, young Chad, there is a certain way, a surefire way that you can predict fights with 100% accuracy. And this is the way to do it. The meme fighter. Who's got the stronger meme behind them? You put Bryce Mitchell in camo shorts, mate, and he's got the wrestling of Khabib. You put Sean O'Malley in pink shorts and he can break the unbreakable face of Marlon Chito Vera. You put Max Holloway in floral patterns. Next thing you know, Justin Gaethje is passed out on the canvas in front of the entire world. But it's not just the shorts that make a meme, mate. It's, it's the aura, right? Why, why do you think Sean Strickland went full Crocodile Dundee against his fight with Israel Adesanya. A Kubra hat, Indiana Jones looking motherfucker. Yeah? He memed on him so hard and had his best performance ever. John Jones, during the entire DC buildup, their whole saga of fights was just a walking meme over DC. The one liners coming out of John Jones were, were something that we've never heard before. And on paper, I, and I stole this piece of paper from Anthony Smith in Anthony Smith's notebook. On paper, DC should have been the better wrestler, but no, John Jones embarrassed him. Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen, an entire career of being a meme, endless title shots in endless organizations. And now look at Chael Sonnen, Hall of Famer, never lost a round, never lost a fight because of the power of the meme. Murab Divalashvili has become more and more of a character on Twitter and has only grown to be more and more powerful inside the octagon. Some people will say it's EPO. And with attempting 50 takedowns per fight, it might be EPO. But that itself just creates a stronger meme that only fuels that monster's EPO veins even further. Jamal Hill, this weekend, tried to use the power of a meme, but he, he, never, he never believed it. It was coming across as fake. And when you put that fake, not believing meme up against Alex Pereira's stone cold Easter Island statue, Shama meme powers, they were too strong, mate. 
They were too strong and that's what won him the fight, not an uppercut. And now we have the greatest test of mixed martial memes arts we've ever seen finally happening. Conor McGregor, adultery. Can't walk past a bathroom without dragging another woman in there that isn't his wife. Just keeps her at home as a breeder. Cocaine, coming down in all of his interviews for Roadhouse, scratching his neck, talking the ear off Mr. Soccer Man at a boxing fight. Alcoholism, just sculling pints, teaching reporters the right way to scull a pint, drinking mid-fight week against Habib, uh, uh, opening a, a bloody bar, mate. Punching old men that don't want to drink with him. General debauchery. His training camp is on a yacht in Speedos, in the budgie smugglers. That's his training camp, on a yacht. Versus Michael Chandler, yeah? Michael Chandler. Christianity, always thanking God after every single fight. Company man, always cutting a promo. Always talking about how the UFC is the best organization. Even signing up with the WWE, mate. He's that much of a company man. He's gone beyond the UFC. He's gone full on TKO, WWE. Clean living. Always ready to be ready. Always ready to go. Absolute 100% professionalism. Adoption. Adoption. Always looking out for the little guy. Trying to bring people in. Trying to expand his family. Adopting kids. He's, 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 you couldn't get a picture perfect, better man. But who will actually win the fight? Whose mean game is stronger, yeah? Michael Chandler puts on a show. No one's that nice deep down inside. No one is that nice at all. Michael Chandler is stomping at the bit to be the next guy that tears somebody's head off. He wants to be an absolute animal. You can tell that when he's in front of the microphone giving us these cheesy, corny lines, he is doing it out of this place of not reality. He, he is going ahead and, and, and giving us a script, mate. But Conor McGregor, there's no fakeness there. It's a bit of a show, but it's an exaggeration of his true self. Conor McGregor can't get off drugs even if he wanted to. Conor McGregor couldn't spend a weekend at home with his wife if his life bloody depended on it. Conor McGregor is a living, walking meme. He is the power of meme embodied. Conor McGregor is him. There are going to be so many channels out there, so many people out there, so many sports betting books out there. The whole MMA community is going to be saying, if MMA makes any sense, then Michael Chandler should win this fight nine times out of 10. Michael Chandler is the harder worker. He takes his career more seriously. All of that is absolutely true. But MMA doesn't make sense. We've learned that. MMA just never, ever makes sense. That's why even the best pickers in the game, when, when they're going up and making their picks, if they can hit at a 60% 60, 60 ratio, that is a great, great person to make picks in MMA. And that's better than 50-50 because this sport doesn't make sense. Conor McGregor is going to sleep Michael Chandler. And we are going to enter a second age of MMA glory. And there's going to be so many people talking about how the UFC is ruining MMA. Listen, if you want a meritocracy, the UFC is no longer that company. It is never more set in stone than this year when we hit the stock market, became public with TKO, when we merged with the WWE. The, the UFC could not be less of a meritocracy. Why is Israel Adesanya getting a shot? Why is Dustin Poirier getting a shot? Why is Stipe Miocic John Jones happening? Because it makes money. It's here for fun. The, MMA, the UFC is here for fun fights that everyone talks about. It's here for media attention. If you want meritocracy, go watch the PFL. You're gonna have a great night's sleep. But the UFC, it's a wild, wild place. And Conor McGregor is coming back and everyone is gonna be saying, you're mad if you think Conor McGregor is gonna win this fight. Michael Chandler is gonna rush in, trying to make a name for himself. And Conor McGregor is gonna sleep him through just the sheer meme power of it all. So let me know down there in the comments, how do you see Conor McGregor winning this fight? What combination do you see him throwing that's gonna allow him to sleep Michael Chandler? What round is he gonna sleep Michael Chandler in? What combination is he gonna sleep Michael Chandler in? Put it down there in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And of course, I'll see you all in the next one.